go. Did I press leave? I'm still here. Okay. Here. So perfect, perfect. Okay. So hello. Hey. Um, this is new, a new way that we're going to be doing meaningful Monday. I'm just going to say good morning because I'm pretty sure we will upload this in the morning time because, hey, who doesn't want to have some type of dose of encouragement to start off their day, right? That's why I started Meaningful Monday. And now I have my awesome boyfriend, James, who will now be joining Meaningful Monday and just giving us, you know, new insight, you know, just new ways to look at scripture, new ways to just explore you know, Christ and explore his word and explore what he's doing in the body. And so today we're going to talk about unity and what it looks like to be on one accord um, as the body, you know, as um, those of us who are in friendships, we're in relationships with, with family members and, and actually with one another. And just, um, we're just going to first our, um, what we're going to start at is going to be 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I think that it is a beautiful um, representation of what it looks like for us as the body to walk together without division, without comparison, without envy, without strife, right? Just as our father would have wanted it. Um, I'm going to start. Um, so 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I'm going to start at verse 14, um, but the whole chapter is worth reading. Um, verse 14, so the body is not one part, but many, the body of Christ, right? If yeah. the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I don't belong to the body. In spite of this, it still belongs to the body, right? Um, I'm going to stop at that sentence. Um, this is what this one is talking about. It's more of like the insecurities that come in, right? The comparison that come in. It's like saying, well, okay, I'm just the, you know, um, the drummer, right? Or I'm just, I just come in and clean the church, you know, or whatever. But it's like saying, hey, although you're saying I don't belong, you still belong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I think that too, that you know this is this is letting us know that you know you can't have big eyes and little u's when, when it when it comes to unity um everyone is on level playing ground and and you know uh my mentor will always say the cross evens the playing ground um it, it, it evens mm -hmm. the playing field and you know one thing that we should we should learn to do is especially when it comes to like being being unified, uh, let's say within within the church or even even in, in relationships, like don't come into it expecting what can I get from it, you know what can I get from the pastor? What can I get from the church? What can the church do do for me? Well, what can she do do for me? What can he do for me? It's like well, what can I give? You know what am I willing to give? Um, and you know what 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 area am I willing to serve in? Um, so you know one thing that I'm seeing. Um, especially here where it says, and if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, uh, I, do, I do not belong to, uh, to the body, it would not for, for that reason stop being part of the body. So it's like, just because you don't, just because you don't have that gift or that function, or you don't, uh, uh, you may not be contributing in a certain area that uh, the other person is or other uh, church member is or even your 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 significant other is doesn't mean that you don't have anything to give you know um and you you also have, have a part to play yeah yeah that is um very important and so then it says to basically drill what james just said verse 17 says if the whole body were an eye where would the hearing be if the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? Another reminder, um, another reminder to, to go along with what he was saying was every part of the body is significant. Whatever your gift is, whatever your talent is, whatever the Lord has called you to do, it is significant. He has called you for such a time as this, right? What, and you know, that comes from Esther, right? What Esther went through those six months 
if you read the book of Esther for six months, she was being like basically drenched in oils and cleansing stuff, you know, and it, it could seem like, okay, you know, what's the point of, of whatever, you know, what's the point of this or, you know, how, how important is this, but us remembering that whatever you're doing in the kingdom, whatever you're doing for the kingdom and whatever you're doing through the kingdom is significant. It is significant and it weighs so much more than we acknowledge it to, right? Then we give attention to the fact that, hey, this is way weightier than anything else. And I think too, is also saying that um, you need people to be different um, because, you know, how can you, how can you grow if everyone around you is on the same level? Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, if, if I want, want to become better, I, I become better by looking at someone who's already at a level that I want to be, you know, if, if, if we're all on the same level, you know, then how can I, how, how can I know that, that, that there's anything higher unless I see someone at a higher level and say, oh, you know what? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want to become better or, you know, it, it don't even have to be necessarily them at a higher level, but I see them doing or serving in a different way. You know, I, I, I see them loving God in a different way. I'm, I'm loving them in this way, but I see them, you know, I, I can love them through uh, giving gifts. Another one can, can, can love through, uh, you know, quality time or something like that. You know, it's, 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 it's cr critical and it's crucial that not only that we're different, but that we respect each other's individuality within Christ. Because mm, um, yeah. not everybody comes with the same gifts and not everyone has the same calling. Yes. Um, and I think that's, that's, that's key, even for like, you know, let's say like relationships, um, you know, mm. you may, you may want, want to serve, serve the Lord through, through, through worship. And that's where, where your big connection is. And the other person, their other big connection may, may be through, uh, uh, through fellowship and like Bible studies or something like that. So it's like both of those are needed in the body, you know, um, but at the same time, no one is, is better than the other. Mm. Mm, mm. yes that's so good um so verse 18 but now god has placed each one of the parts in one body just as he wants it and if they were all the same part where would the body be now there are many parts yet one body um that's important too you know i like how it said he did as he wanted to do, you know, mm -hmm. he, he, it's beautiful. Even when someone was talking about the disciples, I think I was, it was years ago and they were saying, you know, if you look at the dynamic, if you look at Peter versus John, you know, you got John the beloved, but you got Peter who will cut somebody ear off, you know, but yeah. both of them were intricate parts to get the gospel to where it is now. It's yeah. how many years later and we're still talking about it, right? We're still reading about it. So some people will hold the John, the beloveds at a certain place and put the peak, but it's like, we need both. We need John, the beloveds. We need the worshiper, you know, like, yeah. you know, the, the lay at his, his feet, the, you know, we need that, but we also, we need Peter's. We yeah. need Paul's, you know, yeah. it, it's a reminder that, Hey, how he made you was, was how he wanted to make you. Right. And it's going to be for his glory. Amen. Amen. Um, so also, uh, you, you just read verse 19, right? I read 18, 19, and 20 because they all went together. Okay. Um, it says, it says, as it is, there are, there are many parts but one body. And, you know, that also should, should also let us know that um, we all should have the same function. We, we, should, we all should have the same, the same line. You know, don't lose track of the goal. At, at the end of the day, you know, because we, we can, and, and I, I, I've seen, you know, a debates about, about this recently about, uh, you know, speaking in tongues and, and, and gifts of the spirit and stuff like that. It was like, we, so many people can get lost in functions of the, of the body, you know, you know, you know, uh, a believers functions in the church. Oh, well, if you don't speak in speaking tongues, oh, if you don't prophesy, oh, if you don't uh, uh, fall out, you see, you know, and get, and, and get the Holy Spirit. Then it's like, oh, oh, can we tell if you're a Christian or not? But it's like, that's, you're, you're getting distracted from, from the goal. You know, what, what's the body supposed to do? And the body's supposed to move as a unit, you know? Um, um, 
and and and, and like what's what, what's what's the body of the church supposed to do? We're, we're supposed to go out and and win souls for Christ. That's 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 the main goal. You know, people get so full of them of themselves and their positions some uh, sometimes that that we detract from what the you know the the main goal is, and that's how we you know lose the unity or um, dysfunction comes in. Hmm. Yeah, that's very true. We see a lot of that. Um, so now, um, it's funny because a lot of the rest of the verses we've already touched on, like even like the last verse um, that I was going to speak about, we already touched on too, which was verse 27. I'm just going to read through just for the sake of time. I'm yeah. going to read through and then let us share like a last thing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to share some of the takeaway scriptures and then let you share. Sure. Um, so verse 21 to just sum up the rest of it. So the, I cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. Or again, the head can't say to the feet, I don't need you. But even more, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are necessary. And those parts of the body that we think to be less honorable, we clothe these with greater honor. And our unpresentable parts have a better presentation. But our presentable parts have no need of clothing. Instead, God has put the body together, giving greater honor to the less honorable. So that, wow, so that there would be no division in the body, but that the members would have the same concern for each other. So if one member suffers, all members suffer with it. If one member is honored, all members rejoice with it. Last verse 27. Now you are the body of Christ and individual members of it. Hmm. That was a lot. I know that it was meaty. That's why I said <laughs> to start this off, I would encourage whoever gets the chance to watch this, please read um read through this chapter and just let it bless you if you're struggling with comparison if you're struggling with discord or disunity you know even in your own personal church or community this is a great scripture to go to and just dissect it and just let the holy spirit write it upon your heart hey you're all valuable hey y'all are all individual yet one right just like father son holy spirit but one right yeah. They wanted that same unity for us. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to let you speak. Uh, when Jesus prayed for us, John 17, right? He literally said that we may be one, right? He prayed for our unity. And so if he's praying for that, if that was Jesus' prayer, how much more should that be? Not just our prayer, but something that we're actively pursuing, right? Yeah. Um, and so... Really, you know, I, I, I was looking at and I would suggest that even going down to the end of that uh, little thought within that verse, all the way down to verse 31, it, mm. it's really good, good too. Um, but let me, let, me, let me just share uh, 10 truths about unity that you may or may not have known. So here's number one, unity is a gift from God. Number two, unity is maintained, not created by man. Number three, unity grows over time. Four, unity is most opposed by pride and self-interest. Five, unity is uniquely Christian adornment, is a uniquely Christian adornment. Number six, unity requires a doctrinal center, which is the gospel. Number seven, unity does not mean uniformity. Number eight, unity depends on grace and gifts. Number nine, unity grows when it is stretched, pressured, or even threatened. 10, unity glorifies God and attracts unbelievers. So just, uh, you know, keep those things mm -hmm. in mind. And, and, and the basis of that, if you go through and also read Ephesians chapter two, that'll also give you another um, you know, outline of what unity is and how it works. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for that. Um, beautiful thing is we can always rewatch, right? 
Um, to just to leave, I do want to share um, John 17, 11. This is when Jesus was praying. He said, I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world and I am coming to you, Holy Father. Protect them by your name so that, that you have given me. Protect those that you've given me by your name so that they may be one as we are one. So I just wanted to give that scripture again and say, you know, yes, we can pray for unity. Yes, we can pray to be on one accord, but let's actively pursue it, right? You know, let's do our part. You know, um, that's all that we can do. And as James so eloquently gave us these 10 truths, I just want to give um, some scriptures, just take on scriptures. Psalms 133.1, where it talks about how the Lord will bestow blessings where there's unity his favor will come when you're unified right ephesians 4 3 also talks about the importance of being on one accord ephesians 4 13 acts we know we know i just i'm gonna end with x so x 2 uh 46 also x 2 verse 1 uh, it's all throughout x though honestly and then i'm gonna end with philippians 2 2 I would just encourage anyone who catches this, you know, I obviously replay to go through, to look at those scriptures and to choose not just this week, not just today, but let's just choose throughout our lives to actively pursue the unity that Jesus prayed for his body, for his people, for his children, for his sons and daughters to have, right? Yeah. That's what makes us stand out. Like you, you, I think number 10 talked about, you want to attract a non-believer, be unified, be on one accord in your marriage, you know, with your finances, with whatever, you know, the things that seem to tear us to, even when it comes to speaking in tongues or not speaking in tongues at the end of the day, are you bearing fruit? As he was saying that, I mean, cause I do speak in tongues, right? You know, but at the end of the day, that doesn't mean I'm sitting somewhere, you know, like that doesn't right. make me better than somebody else. It's literally a gift. And I know that that's a whole ball game, but are you bearing fruit? Do yeah. you have the Holy Spirit? Have you repented? Have you uh, acknowledged him as Lord and Savior? Okay. Yeah. So that's just what it's going to be. Do you have any last thing you want to say before we close? No, this was, this was, this was good. And I think that, um, that practicing you know one 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 thing i do like about those uh 10 truths that i read is that uh it 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 grows over time unity grows over time and so mm -hmm. you know that's something that hey you may not be be on one accord today but there's always tomorrow you know always you, know, tomorrow. you can always keep keep trying so and there's always now <laughs> there's always now you might have messed up this morning but you got right now <laughs> right. Uh, you know uh, but yeah Okay, so thank y'all, everyone who tunes in. Thank you. Thank you for all of your support. We appreciate y'all. We just want to let y'all know that Meaningful Monday is about to change. It is about to go to a new level. And we just hope and pray that y'all come with us, okay? <laughs> Stay with us and come with us to this next level. We just want to grow. And hey, let us know if you have things you want us to talk about. Um, if whatever, if you want to join us, like hey what topics whatever just let us know we're open we just we just want the lord's will right yeah so y'all be encouraged y'all be blessed y'all be hopeful in jesus name right amen amen see ya <laughs>